EIGRP uses the concepts of active and passive routes. So these can be a little confusing because, well, what's really the difference between these two? To boil it down to a simple fact, passive routes are good and active routes are bad. Let's see why this is. So when a network is stable, we can say that the routes are not changing and therefore these routes are passive. They're passive because they're not changing, they're just sitting there doing their job. These routes are listed in the EIGRP topology table with the P flag, as you can see here. However, sometimes something goes wrong. Maybe we have a broken link. Uh, maybe a router has died somewhere in certain conditions. This can move a route into the active state. Now, what this means is that the router is actively trying to find a path through to this destination. And this is why we consider active routes to be bad. This is because something has gone wrong and the router is trying to figure out what it needs to do to compensate for this. We can see active routes in the EIGRP topology table because they're listed with the A flag. Unfortunately, it's very hard to force an active route in a lab like this, but it would look something along these lines. So I hope that clears up for you in a nice, simple, easy way the difference between active and passive routes and why we especially want to avoid active routes if we can. I'll see you in another video.